Looking good, toots. Does the carpet match the drapes? I need ten yards of your shit just to smell your fur. I wanna fuck you! Boys will be boys. One day, at the Daily Planet, Jimmy Olsen makes an important phone call. Uh, okay, Mr. Dry Cleaner, sir. You should drop off the, uh, dress at four. Yeah, yeah, good, Jimmy, good. You see, I accidentally skewered one of Big Monty McGraw's prized ginger beauties with my smooth, pulsating supermember. Old Monty is my guy for finding hookers who have the pelvic fortitude to withstand my bone-shattering thrusts of glee. But Monty will never supply me another until I replace the one I broke. Where am I ever gonna find an attractive ginger? Uh, anyway, since you're the only ginger I know in Metropolis, you're going to fill her stilettos while I'm off scouring the globe. So you're saying I'm attractive? No, but you're... doable. And how long are you gonna be gone? Could be weeks. Enjoy! Don't forget to shave your asshole! My what?! That afternoon in Midtown Metropolis... Oh, yipers! There goes Big Monty McGraw now! In through the back door of his brothel! Monty's jazz and jazz! And I'll tell you something else, Mr. Monty. My VD alone has took out more GIs than Pearl Harbor. That's some clam you got there, Trixie. I've got a dress here for, uh, uh Miss Olsen. Wait a minute. Two for one happy hour. On second thought, here kid, get this dress to Miss Olsen. I'm gonna go leave a few off-white stains and score some new business. What a sloppy Anne Frank. I've sure got a lot to learn. Later, in the dressing room. Oh, Willikers, I'm not sure if this dress alone will cut the mustard compared to all those seasoned sluts. Good thing my cub reporter instincts led me right to this trunk full of clever disguises. Shortly. Oh, shame on that rotten dry cleaner. I've got to press this real nice if I'm going to be wearing it all day. Ew! Take off that circus tent! How's Big Monty supposed to partake in a sensual bouquet of your filthy snatch if you're hiding the goods? Uh-oh! Big Monty's watching! But this lengthy gown is the only thing covering up my little Jimmy! Throw on this skank rag and get back out here! We gotta parade you girls out! Strut the line! Show the clientele what we're working with! Follow Trixie's lead! She'll show you the ropes! Soon on stage... Hi! If I kick any higher, I'll rip the duct tape that's holding back my franken beans! Hot diggity! Look at the calves on the new ginger! Creamy white dyes like milk, and smells like it's spoiled! What a dame! After catching Monty's eye... Alright, sister! Monty called you back to his private kink room! You got his attention, but nothing turns him on more than seeing a girl catch a heater! from Mickey the Red Rocket Williams. Oh, that's no problem, mister. Superman always makes me the catcher. Huh? Uh, oops, I mean, uh, did I, I say Superman? What I meant to say was, uh, uh, uh... Big fast, bitch! I caught it! Fucking hell, Mickey! You almost hit me! Thank God this worthless whore was in the way. Holy shit, toots! You caught that ball like a case of the clap! Get us some new duds, boys! Something with some pepper. Something hot. Oh yeah, fits perfect! Good work, Fritz. The red on the cap really brings out that rash on her face. Uh, those are freckles, boss. Even better! You got a name there, doll face? Uh, my name? It's, a uh, Jim... Jim... Jimmy! Trixie! Your name's Trixie! That evening, at Trixie's apartment, Trixie's getting ready to go out, which is making Trixie jealous. Gosh, Trixie! It sure is swell of you to let me borrow this pretty dress of yours! <laughs> Come again? Your words have been slurring ever since you finished that six-pack of Jack Daniels! Shut up! You call yourself a whore! You probably think ATM is something you get money from! Which, I guess in my case it is, but... Anyway, you're a bitch! Is that why these gloves are so crusty? Maybe they don't complete this outfit after all. Shut up! I'm trying to put on some music. 
I sure hope Superman's having better luck than I am. Meanwhile, elsewhere, concurrently at the same time, but in a different place. Oh no, the branch is breaking. Whoa, whoa! Oof. Whoop, gotcha, kid. <laughs> There's always a fat one in a group of hotties. Wow, neato. Where are we going now, Superman? Your fortress of solitude? Kind of. Jeepers, Trixie. Watch where you're swinging that thing. Shut up, Trixie. You prissy altar girl. I was Monty's number one spooge sponge before you showed up with your broad shoulders and your hairy knuckles and your Adam's apple. How about a glass of water and some pretzels? You ever wonder why Monty makes us dress like ball players, Trixie? Let's just say it ain't ta at the end of this bat. He likes it in the dugout if you catch my drift. Gives the seventh inning stretch a whole new meaning if you follow what I'm saying. My favorite part of a ball game is the Cracker Jacks. We shove the bat up his ass, dummy. Up his ass. Sometimes he asks for a double header. Shortly as Big Monty arrives. Evening, Trixie. I got you a little something. Little? Well, that ring will never fit over my finger. That's big enough for my whole wrist. Trust me, it fits perfect. I just pulled it off. Later, at a swanky restaurant. Ooh, what do we got here? I didn't know you were serving banana splits for dessert, Monty. Tell me, do the nuts cost extra? I don't know what you mean, sir. I've got a big, hairy vagina. Honest. No need to brag, Trixie. Boys, wipe the smile off this joker's mug. Oh yeah, that's how Wallace like it. Oh, lower. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Glad he's gone. Guy's batty. What's he talking about? Penises? <laughs> Who has those? So when you say Harry, we talking Hitler stash or Honest Abe? A little later that night... Hey, there's another one making eyes at my girl. Isn't that that pedo creep who's always picking up the little boys? That's it, we're getting out of here. Take care of him. Finish him off. Plug him good. Uh, you got it, boss. Later, back at Monty's Jazz and Jizz. Uh, the erotic sounds of sensual lovemaking getting you in the mood, Trixie? Ah, my prostate! Never had to beat off so many guys in one night before. Must be something about those eyes and the way they hypnotize my heartstrings, like the shores of a forgotten lagoon and Cupid's arrow and other stuff. Oh, Monty, I'm Twitterpated. Could this be love? No, no, you'll know the love's on its way when I tell you to close your eyes. I wonder how long Superman will be. Elsewhere, at Superman's Fortress of Turpitude, a familiar friend is breaking in the latest hall. Phew! Five in one day? I'm all out of bat loop. Your stable is impressive, Clark. One Robin usually lasts me a few good years before there's, uh, let's say, death in the family. <sighs> I'm glad you had fun, Bruce. If there's any way I can repay you in the future, don't hesitate to... Say, chum, why the long face? I told you my butler would clean up the mess. Oh, it's not that. Allow me to spin you a yarn. After searching the entirety of Earth for a humpable ginger, I'd come to the obvious conclusion. It does not exist. So I decided I'd have to build my own. She was perfect. A maiden of mythic majesty made manifest. I gave her a dignified name. Mookie. Naturally, I had to take it for a spin to see if it would meet old Monty's high standards of slutitity. Next thing I know, the damn thing had a baby. I'd forgotten to tie her techno fallopian tubes. Greetings, honey. Dinner is almost ready. Your dick is huge. Here, meet your new son. Da, da, your dick is huge. Huh. I never got to know the young lad since they both had an untimely accident, as they so often do. So there I was, gingerless yet again. That's just it. The Red Hand Eye Factory is going out of business. So if you ever wanted to dye someone's hair red permanently, now's the time to act. 
Hmm. First you draw freckles all over my face, and now we're hurrying off to the red hair dye factory? You don't need to be the world's greatest detective to see where this is going. You remember what you said not to hesitate. The next day, Trixie is giving Trixie an earful. So you still think you're Monty's number one, eh, Trixie? Let me show you something. Hey, Monty, Trixie's over here with a freshly sanded Louisville slugger for you. Shut up, cockskanks. I gotta show Trixie her new dressing room. Hey, has anyone seen Trixie? Later, in Trixie's dressing room... Oh, no. It's true. The special ring Big Monty got me is gone. And what's this monkey doing here wearing my hat? There you are, Trixie. And you're wearing that hat I got you. Fits like a glove. That's been stretched over your head. Like a hat. As for you, little misrepresentation, I figured out your little secret. Oop. I'll be taking back the props. You're finished. From now on, Trixie will be your permanent pinch hitter. Now go on up against that wall. No need to spread them this time. We're gonna repaint the molding with your brains. Okay, take it easy there, Big Monty. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you I'm a man. A man? No, I can put up with that. You lied to me about liking baseball. Now kiss your cherry ass goodbye. But I do like baseball. You do? Oh, well, in that case, how about a threesome with Trixie? But at that last moment, Trixie hits herself a home run. <sighs> He's all yours, Trixie. I guess it's true what they say. Your first love is never your last. I'll just call a cab. Superman will be so disappointed in me. Just then, Superman enters through the window. Superman? It's really you! So you finally found a sexy ginger? A what? Oh, Christ, I solved that problem weeks ago. I'm just stopping by to pick up one of my Red Sun erection suppressants so I don't tear any more of these paper-thin strumpets in twain. Ah, here's my last one, which I surreptitiously glue to these fan blades with my super jism. Now to put it to the test. Two weeks later, at the Daily Planet. Looking good, Jimmy. You threw up that dress nicely. I wanna fuck you! One at a time, boys. There's plenty to go around of your boy, Jimmy. Or should I say, Trixie.